What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and the fourth and final map pack for Black Ops 2 has been officially announced. So, uh, One of Swords just put up a blog post, so I want to be the first to let you guys know about what's going on. Now, the name of the map pack is Apocalypse, and it's coming out on August 27th for the Xbox 360, and then obviously one month later for the PS3 and the PC. Now, uh, in this map pack, we get four multiplayer maps and one zombies map, as we've become accustomed to, and we don't have pictures of these maps, but we do have pretty good descriptions, so let's check these out. So the first multiplayer map is Pod. It's a failed utopian community from the 70s that has left stacks of dilapidated residential pods nestled into an abandoned cliffside in Taiwan. Its residents are long gone, and the modernist compound now hosts frenetic combat as players must run atop the pods as well as navigate their multi-tiered interiors for a strategic edge. So this one sounds pretty crazy. It sounds really, really close quarters, and it sounds like there's a lot of vertical gameplay along with horizontal gameplay. So uh, who knows? This may be a great jumps and spots map, and we may be able to revive the series on this one but but yeah this one sounds pretty crazy can't wait to play it now next up we have a new snow map coming to black ops 2 so this one is called frost and fresh snow meets explosive gunpowder in the snow-capped european city where the bridge over a frozen canal separates it into two sides requiring players to employ multi-level traversal strategies to outsmart and ultimately outshoot their enemies so that sounds kind of like discovery a little bit if you guys remember that map from black ops 1 so yeah there's a snow-capped city it's got two Two main sides and you know the two teams are going to be fighting over the bridge to get across as well as I'm sure there's other flank routes and different paths you can take to go like under the bridge or around it or you know whatever so uh, that is Frost. Now moving on to the third map we've got Takeoff and this says fans of Stadium from the original Call of Duty Black Ops First Strike DLC will find themselves at home on Takeoff. Marooned in the middle of the Pacific Ocean this remote launch site is all about close quarters combat combining tight corners with open spaces for intense encounters. So it says fans of stadium will like this map. I'm not sure if they're implying that this is a remake of Stadium. I don't think they mean it in that way. I, I think it's just a, a really similar map to Stadium that's going to play similarly. You know, it's not that symmetrical and there's open areas like the courtyard and things like that, but there's also really tight close quarters combat like inside the buildings and, you know, in the library and things like that. So we'll have to wait and see how that works out, but I don't think it's going to be a remake because the final multiplayer map is Dig and this is a remake of Courtyard from Call of Duty World at War. So it says it's an adaptation from the fan favorite Courtyard from Call of Duty World at War, where two archaeological dig sites in Afghanistan become the perfect playground for combatants eager for hectic, unceasing confrontations. Treyarch has retained the spirit of Courtyard with two major choke points, a wide open layout and raised platforms, but has provided fans with a fresh take on the multitude of paths. So, uh, that's definitely a good thing. Courtyard was a great, great, great map in Call of Duty World at War. That's probably my favorite Call of Duty I've ever played, so I'm happy to see this one come back and, and it should be a lot of fun on the new game. Now, finally, moving on to the last new thing we're getting with this DLC, we get a new zombies map and as you guys probably have seen we got an origins trailer for it yesterday and it's this crazy trailer kind of showing the characters and a lot of details and things like that and it really doesn't give us much information but at the end it's got a giant mech robot that oh, like steps on the guy that's fighting the zombies or whatever. So it's this is going to be absolutely insane. And the description on One of Swords' blog is it's a new adventure which takes place in a diesel punk themed First World War. And it features the original zombies characters. So, you know, from the original first zombies back in World at War. So uh, this should be pretty cool and it should be pretty crazy. I mean, even Mark Lamia, who's a studio head of Treyarch, said that this is the grand finale of Black Ops 2. So it should be pretty insane and I'm expecting a lot out of that zombies map it should be pretty cool so anyway there you guys have it that is the new map pack that's coming to black ops 2 at the end of this month for the xbox 360 hope you guys enjoyed the video got a bunch of great videos coming soon make sure to check out one of the other two videos if you haven't seen them yet catch you guys later peace out